We'll be back on the TV side in just a second. All right, we're still with MMG. Just, just talking Madden. You know, there's nothing I love more than Madden. I've never played. I've never seen the video game. I don't think. Um, you're, you're a true master. I want to know who, if you're, if you're doing, if you're giving a speech in 20 years, oh, a career boy. achievement speech about your illustrious Madden career, who's getting the biggest thank you? Like, who's the person that introduced you that gets the most credit? Oh, you mean like in my personal life yeah. or like a Madden player? No, like you're saying thank you for bringing Madden into my life all those years ago. I would I would say thank you to Madden Mobile. You ever heard of that game? Nope. It was Madden on your phone. I didn't even like football. I played soccer. I, did, I didn't even like the sport. But Madden Mobile was the best game ever. Everybody and their mother played that game. This is like 12 years ago. Okay. So I played that game religiously. Uh, when I was 14, I would like run these little robot devices to play the game all day to farm the coins in the game. And then I'd sell the coins to people for real life money. So that was my job when I was like 14, 15, 16, 17. And then I made a YouTube channel off of it to try to sell more coins. What and then that just worked out. So then I was like, you know what? I got to know ball now. I got to go figure out about football. Uh, they were pretty mad at me for pronouncing every player's name wrong, which gets pretty difficult, as, as you know. So which, uh, which NFL players have you played against? I think one of the best games I played was a Tyreek Hill. And he's a pretty big gamer. He plays a lot of video games. He's pretty good, too. And you, that was a fun one. And you guys talk to each what is he? What is it like to play against Tyreek Hill? <laughs> I can't imagine. Well, it's really fun. You know, some guys, they take the game not so seriously. And some guys, you know, you, you have to imagine when you get to a level like the NFL, you're just competitive in yeah. everything, in your everyday life. So I played guys where, like, they don't speak. They don't want to hear it. Nothing's fun. There's no smiling. There's no joking. It's it's business. And, uh, yeah, that's not how I play, but it is kind of funny. So is, is Tyreek wasn't like that. Tyreek was really fun. Is there someone famous that you've played that um, – that you made rage quit on you. Oh, I almost, I actually rage quit against Micah Parsons. I think he, he beat me so bad I lost the footage. You'll Wait, never what? see it. Dude, I never said I was good. I just play. That dude is good. I'm not kidding. He's better. Yeah, I, was, than, I had this whole best. video cooked up. I want to see him play Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is really good. So is Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon's really, really good too. Okay, no, but who's I the best? I think those three. Give a, give a take here. You're on television. Give a take. Who's the best NFL Madden player? Kyler Murray. It's Kyler, Kyler Murray. Murray. But he didn't make you rage quit. Why did Micah? What did Micah do? I haven't played Kyler, oh. but I know Kyler beat Micah. So that's oh, where I'm at with it. That's good logic there. I'm so I, fact, I learned though, you know. what rage quitting was. Ten seconds ago, so I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I. I you're you're that dating up. yourself. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. We'll be back one time. We're getting back on TV. All right, back on Up and Adams with MMG. We're talking a little mad and a little rage quitting. Rage quitting isn't common knowledge. It has nothing to do with generational stuff. Like rage quitting is a video game reference, right? You know what? You're right. It is a video game reference. Yeah, I it know. Is. I know Duck Hunt. How about like uh, Zelda? <laughs> Um, you know, that's a great game. Um, that's a great game. I'm trying to think of other RC Pro Am Excite Bike. Ever heard of it? No. Good lord. You're yeah, I think that yourself. came out when I was when I was born. Punch Out. Actually, great game. Punch, great see, game. You know, Punch Out. Um, which list? What, what list? Are we, oh, we, yeah. Here's what we want to do with you. Yes, yes, yes. Here's here's the deal. You know okay. the ins and outs of Madden. I clearly do not. Um, I'm going to name a position. I want you to tell me who the most overpowered player in Madden history at that position is. Are you ready? I am. I want quarterback. Michael Vick. Why? Because he was the first to revolutionize scrambling, and they needed to, like, show that in the game. He couldn't do anything. It was completely pointless. If you loaded up as, I think it was the 0-4. No, okay. 4 Michael Vick, Atlanta Falcons, okay. game over. We have 30 seconds. Won. Running back. Barry Sanders. Why? Quickly. The GOAT. Okay, wide receiver. Randy Moss, the GOAT. Uh, okay, I'll go with and tight end. Gronk. Oh, <gasps> really? Not biased. He actually is. Yeah, he's insane. Not biased. And I thought you were going to say Baker Mayfield for a quarterback or running back since he's the best thing that's ever happened. Um, we have Anything you want to promote? Like, promote your YouTube page. Not like you need it, Matthew. <laughs> no, I'm just really happy to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. And uh, it's been a blast. This is really fun. Give me one fantasy sleeper on your way out. One fantasy sleeper. Ah! I have no idea. Bro. I have no idea. Okay, next spot. time, next time, next time. <laughs> Love you.